Another horrible loss for the Bears on Sunday is putting Lovey Smith's job in jeopardy. Today, he responded to the criticism. I mean, everybody that has a job here, it's, it's up to them to uh, do a better job. All of us, from uh, top to the bottom, starting with me. Just two games remain for Lovey Smith to try to save his Bears career. And with another loss, the patience of Bears fans is wearing a bit thin. And some of them are not taking it sitting down. The season can't end soon enough. Can't even watch the game anymore. I'm very disappointed. The season has been uh, uh, a miserable failure. It's created some bad Sundays and Mondays for our family. What started as a promising season has gone into a downward spiral, a 5-9 and nine record. While headlines shout at Coach Lovey Smith, Many admit the coach is not solely to blame, but it's a good place to start for a new beginning. Lovey Smith, he was good in the beginning, but now it's time to get new blood in there now. I like Lovey, but I think it's time for him to move on. My dad said so. We need a new head coach. But fans can't exactly walk up to Virginia McCaskey and tell her what they think. So Andrew Gasser, a longtime Bears fan who's watched his beloved team lose week after week from a Florida sports bar, created BearFansUnited.org. I just want to see the team put the kind of effort into the product that us fans put into them, cheering them on. The website is raising funds to take aim at Bears management. And now thanks to the donation of a vacant billboard by another fan, a large message will be sent to the McCaskey family. Do the right thing, it says. Hire an entirely new coaching staff. Sincerely, the Chicago Bears fans. We want to go ahead and make sure that they hear that look, their performance is not good. We don't feel they're being held accountable to the standard that George Hallis set. I think they're getting the message. So far, the website has raised enough money to pay for the billboard, which goes up on Wednesday. But Gasser's hoping to raise another $4,000 for a full paid Chicago newspaper ad before the Monday game against the Vikings. He says any additional money will go to the Connie and Walter Payton Foundation.